somebody requested a video on the geyser pump operation, so I'll try to make this quick. Uh, the geyser pump is pretty simple. There's this one inch standpipe that goes through the whole entire four inch tube. You can see the top is capped off. And there's an air valve or an air hose right here that connects to that pump that's seen in the back. I've got it unplugged right now so it won't blow air. Uh, but basically the one inch pipe goes all the way to the bottom. And then if I can flip this around, you can see it's a really simple design. It's basically uh, an angled pipe that is uh, coming short of that the bottom opening holes. The air, the air gets pumped right into that big chamber and then pushes the water out the big pipe. It, this will suck up. Uh, they're use, this is used in waste processing. So this will um, suck up even super large objects, including fish, so you have to be careful with that. And so now I'm going to plug it back in here. Let's see if I can do this. With okay. So now it's plugged back in. And as you can see what it does, it pushes water out this end here. And then basically what I need to do is strap it down against this little, uh, I, I, I broke the strap in order to show the video. But that's basically it. The air pump pumps water into that large chamber and the large chamber fills up with air and pushes water up the small chamber up to here. Right now the system is very inefficient because as you can see, my head height is super high. You really want to keep the geyser pump about 60% in the water, 40% outside the water. And that's why I have to use these large pumps. If uh, this tank was deeper, I could get away with smaller pumps. Uh, that's all for now. Talk to you soon.